um, I've been listening to your tapes for probably two and a half, maybe three months. And um, I want to say thank you for the words of freedom, growth, and joy. Um, I experienced the freedom of letting go of blaming my parents. And so therefore, I've been able to, to grow and to experience joy. Um, as a small child, I was sexually abused. And um, for years, I blamed my parents. And that didn't bring me any joy at all brought you disconnected oh and resentment and there was a time when i felt that the things that you heard on tv with you know oprah and all these shows that that helped you connect to other people that had that same experience it does it helps you connect to the disconnected band. yes that's what i found um and in listening to your tapes all of a sudden i found that that didn't work for me it didn't set me free um and when i in listening to your tapes and when I accepted that that feeling that um, blaming wasn't bringing me any joy at all and it stopped any growth that I could have <laughs> and so I've let go of that and I experience a lot more joy in myself however one thing that I struggle with is that I think that as a result of that abuse um, I put on a lot of excess baggage um, I want to let go of that. Um, a lot of it is habits that I've uh, taken on you know, over the years. And I need some help with, I think I don't stay focused with losing the baggage. <laughs> um, I need some help. Let us tell you what is happening here. It is, it is a very common thing to be standing in a place, whatever it is, and assessing it and then saying, well, it's not right really as I want it to be. And then in a sort of assumptive mechanism, you go back into your past to try to explain how you got here. It is the way physical man deals with everything because he does not understand who he is or why he is here. So he just looks around and assesses what is here and then in a sort of piecemeal fashion tries to go back into the past to explain what is from what must have been. <laughs> It is really an exercise in futility because what it does with most of you is just causes you to perpetuate more of what is. When you spend your time trying to explain or justify or rationalize why you are where you are, you just keep holding yourself in that place. So it is far better to say, doesn't matter how I got here, it really doesn't. Because you can't go back and undo it anyway. Doesn't matter how I got here, the important thing is being here has brought me to a clear perspective. I now know more clearly what I do want than ever. And now that I know what I do want, talk about what I want and why I want it so that I start gravitating toward that rather than pushing against the other. Are you hearing what we are talking about? The reason that most diets do not work very effectively is because most of them are made up of statements of what I'm not going to do anymore. I'm not going to eat that anymore and I'm not going to eat that anymore. It's a little bit like not smoking anymore. When you, whatever you say I'm not going to do something, you're ravenous for it because it becomes your point of attention. So what you are wanting to do is talk about what you want and why you want it. Now, relative to this subject, if you would visit with us for just a little bit here, we can get right to the bottom of something and vibrationally help you a great deal. As you say, you're talking about excess baggage or you're talking about some pounds you are not wanting to carry around. Definitely. And so as you say, I know what I do not want. I don't want these extra pounds. Then make a statement to us as clear as you are able. It will be perfect as it comes forth. What is it that you want? I want a perfectly tuned and toned body. <laughs> now that is very positive, very clear, from the vibration and the words, it was very easy to know just what you mean by that. Now, just give us very gently uh, some answers to the question why. Why do you want this perfectly toned and tuned body? Just one at a time. I want to feel beautiful. 
I want to feel beautiful. Now in that, those are very pure, positive words, but the vibration behind them just a little bit is, I don't feel beautiful and I want to feel beautiful. That's mm -hmm. natural. When you're living something that you do not want, it's natural. But as you say, I want to feel beautiful, now you can enhance that vibration and make it really pure if you will talk about why you want to feel beautiful. Why do you want to feel beautiful? It just feels good to feel feel beautiful. It feels good in my clothes. I want to put on clothes that fit and feel good. I want to feel my body lithe and agile and moving about. In other words, just just speak, just try to enhance, try to say the words or form the images in your mind of being thinner and uh, more agile and uh, more flexible and more toned. In other words, just try to create that picture in your mind and with your words. And as you do, in other words, did this feel good to you as we were expressing it? Oh, yes. And so as you are speaking and talking there, you begin to vibrate there. Now, let's go back to the, the, the first part of it. You said, I want a tuned and toned body. And then we say, why? And you say, I want to feel more beautiful. And now we've enhanced that. Another reason that you want that body to be toned and tuned. For a long, healthy life. Now there again, those are very positive words, but it's, I, I don't want to get, in other words, there's a little bit. Now this contrast of the universe, it's very subtle, isn't it? In other words, it's a very subtle line between pushing against what you don't want and talking about what you do want. And that one was a little bit borderline. In other words, we could feel a lot of positive and a little negative on that. So then you just talk about this long, why do you want this long and healthy life? because I have so much that I'm wanting to do, because there are so many people that are waiting for my influence, because I love this life, and because I love being in this body, and because I love the deliciousness of all of that. In other words, as you start talking in those ways, can you feel the powerful, positive vibration that's coming into this desire? Now, what will happen if you follow this little process of what do I want and why do I want it? Just two or three minutes here and there through the week. You don't even really have to do it every day, just here and there as you feel about it. Then one day as you are doing it, you will, uh, we would say wait for a day or two. In other words, sit with your little notebook and apply this process at least two or three times. And then ask yourself, now, do I feel like I want to do anything? In other words, is there any action that is stirring within me? And it is likely that what will come out of you is, yes, I feel like moving. Yes, I feel like getting out and moving my body. Yes, I feel like being more discriminate about what I'm eating. In other words, when you get in sync with what you really want in a pure positive vibration, you will be motivated to action and it will come easily. It will not be a struggle of pushing against. Getting the sense of what we are talking I really do. You know, and I guess... Uh, my struggle with what I have been doing is that, you know, I would say things like, uh, today I will eat only healthy foods, you know, but all of that was a negative. <laughs> I thought it was a positive. We know yes. you do, but, and we are appreciating your, I will eat only healthy foods, which yeah. means I won't eat the good stuff that I really want to eat. <laughs> And so, uh, and so even though you're saying one thing, the attraction is to the other. So there it is haunting you. And then you feel uh, deprived because you cannot have it. And then you give in to it. And then you hate yourself for having given in to it. Then you beat up on yourself. You didn't even enjoy it as you were eating it. There was so much negative emotion evol involved in it. And the Eat some of that good stuff. Eat some of that good stuff every single day and enjoy every morsel of it. In other words, being in a place of deprivation won't get you to your thinness either. If it, it, really it will not what you are wanting to do you see you can actually your body will adjust to your desire in spite of your actions and that's what a lot of people are really wanting to believe you just don't quite believe it yet but as you start talking about what you want and why you want it so that you are vibrationally attuned to your guidance system you will find yourself gravitating away from things that you believe are uh, opposite to your desire and gravitating toward things that you believe are in harmony with your desire and as you apply this process some of those beliefs will begin shifting a little bit <coughs> you will find your you see remember what we said yesterday your body has millions of energy points each cell in your body has many points of energy and all of those have uh, they're actually thinking mechanisms that are transmitting and receiving thought 
And so if the thought that is coming out of your conscious mechanism is, I weigh more than I should weigh, and I should not be eating this thing that I'm eating, you are transmitting vibrationally, not through your words, but you're transmitting a message to all of the cells in your body, and they are responding to the vibration that you are putting out. So if you are saying, I, if, if you are focused upon too much fat, the cells of your body are responding to what you are saying no to, just like the entire universe is responding to what you say no to. The more you talk about being too fat, the more your cells are producing more of the thing that is your object of attention. But as you're talking about being slender and being lithe and being toned and being tuned, the cells of your body are responding to those thoughts. You see how it works? Mm -hmm. This is literal. We're not kidding. This is not a fairy tale. We're talking to you about the laws of the universe, and every particle within the universe responds to these laws. See, I was thinking yesterday when you talked about that magic book, that perhaps I could use that magic book in that way too, you know, in collecting the pictures of healthy people doing uh, light things. Certainly. You know, as of the result of as a result of what? <laughs> See, that's, a tricky, negative. <laughs> that, that's a tricky thing because a lot of them you see are starving themselves to death or they're working at the gym four hours a day. In other words, the pictures of those that are put up to you as the ideal body conditions are those that in many cases are not very joyful beings. They, they are giving their full attention to that. And you say, well, I'm not willing to do that. Yeah. Here is the, the key that you are looking for. You are wanting to vibrate so joyously in harmony with your image of what you want, that all of the cells of your body conform to it. And in time, it won't take much time, a month maybe at most, your physical body, the cells of your body will begin to respond to your dominant vibration regarding this subject. It's a subject that comes up often because food is around a lot of times. The television is showing it to you constantly. Uh, you look through a magazine and there are pictures of food and recipes of food and, and everywhere you go there is food. In other words, it is a dominant part of your experience. And so if every time you see food you get that sort of resistant vibration, then you realize how much of, how much of your life experience is being negatively affected, you see. Mm -hmm. This will be really fun for you. Just relax into it and have fun with it and you will discover that it will be very easy.